Welcome to the Notorious DID. I am Laura. We have, of course, been having a lot of problems with our neck and back, and we haven't been in the mood to make videos or do any of that. Um, our daughter got injured and she's still on crutches and there's a lot going on so um, down here in South Carolina there's an area called Merle's Inlet and they have Harley Bike Week twice a year uh, the week that is near Memorial Day they are having the celebration now so there's a lot of bikes a lot of traffic there's been a lot of traffic here lately anyway because there's a lot of people that are moving here from the west coast from the north there's just a lot of traffic there's a motorcycle you can hear I'm sure and add about 100 more to that at a time and that's the noise that you'll hear down here so we had to get a new pushy which is what I call the rollator or the rolling walker that we had because Kay broke it we had to get a wheelchair which is probably a good idea anyway uh, because our daughter needs to be able to get around decently and has to be pushed around sometimes because it's a lot of work walking on crutches she's still been working through this which she is so strong and I am very very proud of the fact that she has chosen to push through and continue working because it's been difficult for her and I know it has she's exhausted a lot of the time uh, we have a new pushy a rollator coming today and we are having to get a recliner because when we have the ACDF surgery which is a replacement of several discs in the neck and uh, somewhat of a fusion then we're most likely going to need a recliner to sleep in for a while we're going to be in a brace for 23 and a half hours a day so we need to be as comfortable as possible uh, it's unclear as to when we're going to be able to have that surgery because of the step back that we've had to take with our daughter being injured and the fact that she obviously cannot help clear up a lot of things around the house that have to be done before we can have surgery and Kay of course is not going to help anybody do anything so there's that we ended up not doing any of our college this summer but we're still going to be refreshing learning things that we don't feel that we covered or learned well and pushing forward we're at a standstill whether we want to finish completing the medical billing and coding or if we want to just go ahead and start our associates with paralegal because uh, it's difficult in this day and age to know if you're going to be able to get a decent position after you get out of training from even college for a lot of things and the positions that are available require additional training because they're specific positions not just overall medical billing and coding a lot of the medical billing and coding are not entry-level positions either 
we notice they want two years plus experience, which how do you get experience if they're not going to hire you at entry level? It's always been the problem, hasn't it, people? So, just a lot going on today. Our grandmother, her passing has... Every day, let's put it this way, every day is a struggle. Even though it's been over a year, it's still something that's continuously thought about. She was technically our mother, the only mother that we really knew. My mother and grandfather, well, my grandmother and my grandfather were my mother and father, is what I should say. And he passed in 1980, so just a lot going on it's a lot to process because of counting how many years it's been since he's been gone come this September 5th and now she's gone so there's just a lot going on I think surgery in any way shape or form even if it's not major surgery puts you into a different mindset a different perspective and we're in a different kind of mindset anyway because uh, we're having a lot of issues with our legs and everything from the back uh, because we could possibly become paraplegic if we weren't to have the surgery, which we're going to. So it's still just it's a lot to process. It's a lot to process, a lot to get into your head. There's a lot of what if and what if as we all know is immortally hardened in your heart to process so that's kind of where we are we're obviously shifting in and out as we do uh, it's been myself Lara and also Solara, and also uh, Valpre. We've had a few of the others who have come to the front randomly and had a few that have popped up that we didn't know were there. So as usual with DID, anything can happen and will. There's some more of the bikes. So, just popped in to say hello. I hope everybody is doing well. I don't know what kind of regular video processing we're going to have because we're kind of down, a little depressed, a little disheartened. Disheartened, I should say. Um, and processing a lot. So, the best to all of you. Thank you for coming to listen to us. We value you. We appreciate you. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Leave us comments. And we will get back to you as soon as we can. Like I say, it's difficult when you're changing in and out and when you're not in the right mindset for things. So don't think we're ignoring you. We just have a lot that we're processing right now. This has been Laura for the Notorious DID, and I'm going to say bye.